In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate how to simplify exponential expressions and review some of the rules that should be applied in different situations. In this example, we have an expression x to the third power times x to the second power. When multiplying bases that are the same, we simply add the exponents together. So in this case, this expression can be simplified to x to the fifth power. It is common for many people to incorrectly multiply the exponents together simply because they see a multiplication sign in between the two terms. So remember, do not multiply the exponents together when multiplying bases that are the same. You must add the exponents together when multiplying bases that are the same. Why does this rule work? Writing the original expression in expanded form reveals why you add the exponents when multiplying bases that are the same. By rewriting x to the third power in expanded form and x to the second power in expanded form, we can clearly see that we have five x's being multiplied together. We may simplify this expanded expression as x to the fifth power. So remember, when multiplying the same base together, we simply add their exponents together. But what about division? Let's examine this example, x to the fifth power divided by x to the second power. We had to add the exponents when multiplying the bases. Now that we are dividing, which is the opposite of multiplying, we do the opposite with the exponents, which is to subtract them. Because the exponent in the numerator is larger, the subtraction should be performed in the numerator. The base with the smaller exponent should always be turned into the number 1. We will demonstrate why a little bit further into this tutorial. So on the top, we have x to the third power being divided by number 1 on the bottom. This may be simplified further to x to the third power. This is because anything divided by 1 is itself. Therefore, x to the third power divided by 1 is x to the third power. To understand why subtracting the exponents works, we will solve the same problem in expanded form to illustrate why. If we write the numerator x to the fifth power in expanded form, and write the denominator x to the second power in expanded form, we can clearly see that we have three more x's on the top than we do at the bottom. We can cancel the two x's on the bottom with two x's on the top and change them both into ones. The reason we change them both into ones is because anything divided by itself is the number one. Because we have three x's remaining at the top, we can express this as x to the third power. For the denominator, we have two ones remaining that we must multiply together, and one times one is the number one. Once again, because anything divided by one is itself, we can say that x to the third power divided by one is equal to x to the third power. This is as far as we may simplify this expression. Now let's examine what happens when the exponent in the denominator is larger. Because the exponent is larger on the bottom, our subtraction must be carried out on the bottom. We are basically saying that there are three more x's on the bottom than there are on the top. We are also saying that out of the seven x's on the bottom being multiplied, we are canceling four of them, leaving us with three on the bottom. Because all four x's on the top will be canceled out with four x's on the bottom and turned into ones by division, we will write a number one for our numerator. Note that we are not dividing by one in this example. If you have a number one as your numerator, you must leave it there. This is as far as we may simplify this expression. To understand why a number one on the top has to remain there, we can use some basic fractions to illustrate why this is true. Any fraction that has a one as its denominator can be simplified to whatever the numerator is. In other words, with this example, 3 divided by 1 is the number 3. So when the number 1 is on the bottom, you can simply get rid of it. Examine the fraction 1 fourth. You may not eliminate the 1 if it is on the top. 1 fourth is not equal to 4. We should clearly see why a 1 as a numerator must remain. Eliminating it would change its value. Let's examine an expression with different bases on the top and the bottom like the example shown. Notice that the letters that are the same are being divided because they are on opposite sides of the fraction bar. When dividing bases that are the same, remember that you must subtract their exponents. Remember to subtract where you have more of them. We can say that we have two more a's on the bottom than on the top. 
so I'll write a to the second power on the bottom. All of the a's on the top will cancel out. We can also say that we have two more x's on the top than on the bottom, so I'll write x to the second power on the top. All of the x's on the bottom will cancel out. You would cancel out 5x's on the bottom and 5x's on the top. So two x's on the top would remain, and that is why we write x to the second power on the top, or for our numerator. We cannot subtract the exponents of different bases, so we have simplified this expression as far as it may go. We cannot subtract the exponents of different bases, so we have simplified this expression as far as it can go. Now let's simplify an expression when different bases with exponents are being multiplied like the example shown. When multiplying numbers with exponents, you must add the exponents if they have the same base. We may only add the exponents of the a terms together, and we may only add the exponents of the b terms together. When multiplying a to the second power by a to the third power and adding their exponents, we come up with a product of a to the fifth power. When multiplying the b terms together, b to the third power times b to the fourth power, we come up with b to the seventh power. Because the bases are different, we cannot add the exponents at this point. So a to the fifth power times b to the seventh power is our answer. So remember, you must add the exponents when multiplying bases that are alike. You must subtract the exponents when dividing bases that are alike. Also remember that when the entire numerator cancels out, you must write a number 1 in that position.